Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. In previous series of segments, we discussed a number of uh, time series methods of forecasting. We discussed naive forecasting, simple moving average, weighted moving average. We discussed simple exponential smoothing, trend adjusted exponential smoothing. We discussed linear trend line and we also discussed a seasonally adjusted forecasting. Uh, here we are going to discuss causal methods or associative methods of forecasting. Uh, one of them is simple linear regression. And the formula is the same as we saw for linear trend line. So that is actually the equation of a line that we also call a regression equation. And here we are having one X. So that is why it is called simple linear regression. So you may recall from your uh, school days that Y here is uh, the dependent variable and X is independent variable. So this is dependent and X is independent variable. So in other words, we are predicting uh, the value of y uh, from the value of x. But in linear trend line that we discussed, the x was uh, the time. x was time. Here x is something other than time. So x could be an independent variable other than time. For example, uh, if our X is, let's suppose, temperature. And of course, Y is uh, the demand that we want to forecast. So demand for, uh, let's suppose, uh, ice creams. So in this case, Y is equal to A plus B X. So X will be the temperature and why will the demand for ice cream so we are predicting the demand for ice cream uh, based on temperature so we are assuming that there is a relationship between these two or let's suppose uh, x is a number of new patients say new covid 19 patients and why is the demand for some related item maybe for masks or PPEs so we we can predict the demand for masks or PPEs based on the number of new patients so you can think of similar examples for example we assume that there is a relationship between the amount spent on advertisements and the demand for a product. So that is simple linear regression. But if we are having more than one independent variables, then that is called multiple linear regression. So demand is forecasted based on more than one independent variable. So in this segment, we will focus on simple linear regression and the Example that we are going to discuss states that a maker of personalized golf shirts has been tracking the relationship between sales and advertising dollars over the past four years. The results are as follows. So when, for example, $32,000 were spent in a year on advertising, the sales in thousand was 130000 $130, dollars when $52,000 were spent on advertising, uh, advertising, the sales was $151,000 and so on. So you have to use linear regression to find out what sales would be if the company invested $53,000 in advertising for the next year. So if amount here was $53,000, what would be uh, expected sales here.
So uh, these are the past data, and for the next year, we are planning to spend fifty-three thousand dollars on advertising. So what would be the sales for that uh, year? So we want to forecast that. So we can use two methods, as we saw during our discussion on linear trend lines. So we could use the intercept function, so known Y's are your sales values, and known X's are, in this case, amount spent on advertising. Similarly, we can find the slope. So same known Y's and X's. So sale forecast for next year will be equal to A plus BX, value of A plus value of B into X. So X in this case, independent variable, the amount that you are planning to invest uh, on advertising. So that is $53,000. So the sale that you can expect the next year are around 154, $154,000. So this is one way to, to solve or approach this problem. Uh, there is another way to do that as well. So we can use the data tab, then data analysis, regression, and here we can select input Y range and input X range. So input Y range is again, are these values of sales. X range is the amount spent. And we can select the output range. So we have found the intercept and slopes, the same values as we already obtained. So the forecast will be equal to A plus BX. So intercept plus slope multiplied by 53,000. So again, we get the same result that we can, we can expect a sales of $154,000 if we spend $53,000 on advertisements. Uh, we can get some more information using this method. So for example, R square here is point nine eight so that is quite high value so this is a very strong model so we can actually predict the sales for future using the data for the amount spent on advertisement so that is a very high value and you can see that the corresponding p value is much smaller than five percent so that is 0 0.007. And of course, the corresponding F value would be very high. So that is why the P value is very small. So the relationship between these two variables is quite significant. So this was how we can do simple linear regression to forecast uh, demand for future. So this is an example of causal method or associative method. So the variable that we were taking was something other than the historical demand data. So this was the amount spent uh, on advertisements. So I hope the concept is clear. Thank you.